What's good guys, Fancy Joe back here with week 5 waiver wire edition. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I post a ton of content on the channel throughout the season. Waiver wire, uh, running back, wide receiver rankings, start sits, uh, as well as other information for you guys to beat your friends and family in fantasy football. So hit that subscribe button if you want to win that championship, bring it home. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section and hit that like button to help out the algorithm. I really appreciate it. All right, let's hop in and talk waiver wire. So CJ Stroud is out there at quarterback. He would be on number one ad. He's been fantastic so far this season. You see the last three games he's had over 280 and two every single game. No interceptions so far this year. He's been fantastic. Um, I think we're just ready to ride the train at this point. And Tank Dell and Nico Collins have both been phenomenal for him. Uh, Sam Howell, I do think he's worth an add if you're in a deeper league. Another guy I throw out there is Stafford. He's looked really good, and he should get Cooper Cup back. Uh, that's an impressive game for him, and he's been pretty solid outside of Buffalo. And Buffalo's a great defense. We saw what they did at Tua last week. Um, but those are some names at the quarterback position. Let's move on to running back. My top add to running back right now would be Jaleel McLaughlin. Um, he had a great game the other day, and I just think that he could potentially be win the job in this backfield. Um, so I'm going to take the shot on him. He was really good in college, a 4-3 guy, similar build to a Devon Achan. And uh, Sean Payton seems to really like him, which I think bodes well for him. He's talked him up a lot when he's talked about the running back. Um, and like I said, just extremely efficient the other way. Javante, don't, not supposed to miss a ton of uh, time with this hip flexor injury, but I still think uh, McLaughlin is worth um, rostering right now, uh, in my opinion. We can talk about running backs a little thin. He's definitely my top ad right now. We can bring up another guy. Deontay Mitchell from Baltimore. He's owned in a decent amount of leagues now. I mean, 2.3%, I guess not. He's an injured reserve, but... Um, I think he'll be activated fairly soon. He made the roster. He looked really good in the preseason. Uh, they're going to need all the help they can get the running back position, so I think he's a decent stab at that if you're trying to win the job. This guy is probably owned in your league too, but Zach Charbonnet, I think, is just going to be more and more involved in this Seattle Seahawks job as time goes on. I think he's just getting more and more work. We saw last night five, 6.2 per. Good average every single time. He's looked good in the passing game as well. They use a second round draft pick on him. I do think Ken Walker's a guy, but I think he's going to get worked in more and more and more. All right, let's move on to the wide receiver position. We've got some solid names this week um, as far as wide receiver goes. First name up, I have Michael Wilson. Um, he looked really good the other day. He would not be my top at the wide receiver position, but it, he's definitely worth an add. Seven targets. 7 for 76 and two touchdowns, 86 yards of the week before, just become more and more involved each and every week. Um, he'd definitely be a guy I think it's worth an ad. My number one ad, though, would be Jamison Williams at the wide receiver position. I currently own him in this league, but uh, Jamison was just fantastic, probably the best wide receiver coming out of his class um, pre-draft. And if he can get his head on and straight and just, you know, Play football, stay healthy. I think he still has all that talent. So, Jameson Williams would be my top ad. He's just a guy who could truly be a difference maker at the position if he's featured in that offense. If he gets seven, eight targets a game, he'll be a difference maker for fantasy no matter what, in my opinion. Um, so, very high on Jameson Williams, especially now that the suspension's been reduced. I think he is a great ad in all formats, basically. So, I put Jameson one. Uh, Michael Wilson, too, and then if Zay Flowers out there in your leagues, <sighs> let's say Flowers, Zay Jones. I think he's worth a while of an ad. The offense just looked different when he wasn't out there the last two weeks. Uh, should be back soon. Yeah, but I think that he's, he's going to get dropped in a decent amount of leagues just because he's missed some time, but I think he's definitely worth an ad. Another guy I'll throw out there before we stop wide receivers is Tyler Boyd uh, with the injury to... T. Higgins, I think he could see more work. I think there's a decent chance Higgins plays, but I think Boyd could be more effective than him moving forward with that rib injury. Not rest of the season, but at least for the foreseeable future. Okay, let's move on to the tight end position. So, some of the top ads in my position, in my opinion, if Ferguson 
Jake Ferguson's still out there. He's number two on Dallas and targets right now with 25 compared to C. Lamb's 30. Um, he's not goosing you. He's giving you something each and every week. I think he is a solid add in my opinion. He'd be my top add to position. Another guy, I've talked to him a few times, but Zach Ertz is still out there. He just gets targeted each and every week. Um, Ten targets this last week. You can add him. He's going to do TV something for fantasy football. That's really nice. Not a lot of tight ends have that ability. I think that's underrated in his uh, skill set, honestly. Luke Musgrave, another guy out there. If he's still available in your leagues, I think he's worthy of an add. He went down with a concussion the last week, but if you look at every other week, he's been pretty targeted. Um, I think that trend will continue for him. So he'd be my third add at the tight end position. Now let's talk defense. There's some good defensive streamers out there this week. My top ad would probably be the Commanders against uh, Chicago. Good defense for them, and Chicago's obviously struggled recently. And then my second ad, I think I would go hmm, probably Lions against Carolina, I think would be my next ad. I think that would be a really good defense as well. I think that might even be a slightly safer play. I just haven't seen Carolina do much. And uh, the Lions defense has looked really, really good this so far to start this season. All right, if you guys have made it to this point in the video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions on comments on who to add, who to drop, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll respond as always. This has been Fantasy Joe. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Bring home that Fantasy Championship. Hit that like button. It really helps me out. Thank you guys for watching.